Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Try It Tuesday and I have been requested to show you how I did this background. Now this was done um, quite simply and it's so simple that you're going to go, why didn't I think of that? Just saying, <laughs> this will not be a long video. It is very, very simple to do and you are going to get the swirl effect that the it looks like flames and it's a really cool effect and it's something that I came across very very um, simply because I just grabbed the wrong brush <laughs> so we're going to do that um, what you're going to need of course is your page that you're working on I'm just going to use a blank piece of paper some pan pastels and some fan brushes and try not to throw your brushes on the floor crud <laughs> give me a brush make sure that your brushes sorry um, are good fan brushes they they hold a fan otherwise this will not work very well all right, so we're going to start on this side of the page. I'm going to move the pastels over here. So there's our page. There's our brushes. We're going to start with a nice red because it's easier to see. <laughs> so we're going to do red yellow and orange uh, let's do this orange okay so these are the three colors that we're going to use red yellow and orange and we're going to do a flame effect hopefully oh, I haven't opened this one So let's open the pan pastel first. This one is permanent red shade, so it's a really deep red. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're going to fill it on the tips like so, so that you have a good amount on the tip of your brush. And then you're just going to take your brush and you're going to put it straight down in between your finger and your thumb and you're going to go like this and you can pick up some more The stiffer the brush, the better. Um, this probably would work better with a uh, fanned paintbrush, but the stiffer the brush, the better. All right, now we're going to blow this off. <sighs> Get rid of any excess. So as you can see, we've got some swirl going on there. Now we're going to take the orange. Now this is a nail paintbrush so it's a little bit stiffer and I'm just putting it dabbing it back into the pan getting a good amount of pastel on the brush so basically all you're doing is you're getting the brush 
be going one way and then the other. Like so. Again, I'm going to take the page, knock off all the excess, and take my brush, make sure I knock all the orange off of it because I don't want orange in my yellow. And we're going to open the yellow. And this one here is Hansa Yellow. It's a nice bright yellow. Again, going to fill the brush up. Get it nice and full. And again, just fill up the edges of your brush. Make sure that the majority of the pastel is on the edge. You put your brush down and you turn it. Put your brush down, turn it the other way. Turn it, turn it. If you want swoops, Turn it and pull, like so. You can also put it between your finger and your forefinger, and you can move it as you're turning it to bring that swoop up a little. Like that. But that's as simple as that is. So I'm going to grab a bright red. Put the lid back on the yellow here. Maybe. <laughs> And it doesn't want to go on the yellow. I almost dropped it. Ay, ay, ay. And this is why I have the pan holder. <laughs> Alright, so we have this one here, which is a brighter red. This one is permanent red. Again, I'm going to build it up. See how much red is on there. And then go... And it's just willy-nilly, random turns to give yourself a little bit of an effect. Like so. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> like I said, it is so simple that you're going to sit there and go, wow, why didn't I think of that? Now, of course, you can use any color you want. You can use blues. You can use purples. You can use any color you want. I used the yellows and the oranges and the reds so that I could show you with some bright colors. 
how that's going to work. This will work really well for water as well, as well as if you do a blue sky, to do it with a white over top of the blue. It'll work for all sorts of things. And the more swirls you put on, the more movement your page has. Once you're done with this, I do strongly suggest that you spray it with a fixative because this is not being pushed down into the page. This is very lightly sitting in some of the crevices of the paper. So I do strongly suggest spraying it so that you get a, a at least a semi-permanency of it and then put a piece of parchment between your pages. But there we have our, looks cool this way too, looks like feathers. <laughs> there we have our flames. That's how we we create that flame effect uh, that I created on that page. Like I said, you can do this with any color. So you can do this with a dark blue and a white and some grays and create those clouds as well. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. You know, I, it's the simplest um, background that I have ever come up with. And it, it works so nicely. Uh, if you have, this one here is just a, a cheap um, nail brush. So one that, that you would use for nail art. Uh, the other one was a makeup brush. I like this one a little bit better. The makeup brush is a little loose, but it good, puts a good layer for the background. Um, a good stiff paintbrush would probably work really well as well, but it has to be the fan shape. I have tried it with other shapes. The fan shape gives you that movement. All right, guys, with that, that's it. That, that's all I got. It's a wonderful background to work with, and it looks really cool. All right, guys, thank you all very much for watching, of course. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artists that you enjoy. And always relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time, bye-bye for now.